Okay, my kindergarten and first grade friends, I hope you had a good time relaxing last week when we had our flex week in week four of block two. Now we're back. It is block three, week one. And just like I promised, this week we will be coloring our color monster. Now I hope that you reread or rewatched the read aloud for the color monster. I also added some other fun monster stories in there so that you can see how some other monsters are drawn and how some other monsters feel. Now, as we create our monster, remember your feelings do not have to match the feelings that the color monster felt in the book. If your angry is black and it's not red like in the book, that's okay. If you did angry and it feels dark blue instead of red, that's okay. Remember, your feeling and your color feeling might be different than mine and our feelings might be different than in the story. So I'm going to do some examples to help you as you color. Now, just like the rest of our virtual art projects, you have a choice of what you're going to use. And if you're like me, I like to use a lot of materials. So for my color monster, I have some paint sticks, my temper paint sticks. I have some markers, I have some crayons, and I have some oil pastels. Now, you can see that with this example, all of these are green, right? I chose my color green, and green is going to be my worried monster. So my monster that's not so sure about what's going on, for me that feels a little green. So I'm going to have my green all ready to go here. Now here I have my angry monster. Angry monster for me was red. So just like before, I have all of my different reds that I pulled out. Markers, paint sticks, pastels, crayons. I also have my purples that I picked out. Now purple for me was my happy excited. So I'm using happy excited for purple. In the story, it was yellow for happy, but my happy is purple, so I'm choosing that color. Remember, you choose what's right for you. So let's get started on our color monsters. Gather your art materials, get out your white and black monster, and let's get going. Okay, so no matter what your color feeling was, you've collected all of those colors and all your different materials, and you have your monster right ready to go. We are also going to be needing one more very special material. You will need your water bowl, your paint brushes, and your watercolor paint. Now, if you don't have watercolor paint, that's okay. You can just do it lightly with crayon, but we wanna get those ready for later too. So if you haven't gotten those ready, go ahead, pause the video, get your watercolors all set up, and let's get ready to work together. The first thing you'll need are your dark colors. So whatever is the darkest ones for you, you'll pull those out. We're gonna add some texture to our monster's fur. Now we're gonna talk about texture in a few weeks and we're gonna really go into it, but texture is how something feels. So since our monster is covered in fur, we want to add some furry texture lines all over our monster. Does he have fur in his eyeballs? No. So we're going to skip the eyeballs. Does he have fur in his teeth? No. So we're going to skip the teeth. But you can put fur all over his body. You can use different colors, but you want to choose your dark colors for this. After you have some of your dark colors on there, you can add some textures with your lighter colors now. We wanna do the dark ones first because the dark would cover the light, but as you can see, when I go over my dark with my light, it doesn't get covered up. Remember as you're adding your hair, don't get it in your teeth or your eyes. Okay, it looks like my monster is nice and hairy, just how I want him. So now I'm going to start using my watercolors to fill my monster in. So remember, you take your watercolor, the first thing you want to do is wet your colors so that you get a little puddle. So I'm gonna take some water, I'm going to drip it in my greens. 
I have two greens. You probably only have one. That's okay. Just whatever you've got. Now, just like when we added our fur onto our monster and we did not put it in our eyes and we did not put it in our teeth, we are not gonna put the paint in our eyes or our teeth either. So you can take your watercolor paint, gentle like you're petting a kitty cat or a puppy dog, and you're going to fill in your monster. Now, if you have more than one color of green, like I do, you can use them both. If you only have one, or one color of purple, or one color of blue, you can use all the same. But if you have a puddle, you still have to spread it. That's still the rule. So I'm spreading, spreading, spreading until I fill in my whole monster with paint. Uh-oh, I made a mistake. I painted my teeth green. Whoops, that's okay. We're gonna let it dry and I can show you how to fix that at the end. But I wanna show you each of my monsters I've done the same thing to. When I move on to doing this excited monster, I'm gonna use some different materials so that if you do not have watercolor paint at home, you can see how to do this. So I'm starting off with those tempera paint sticks again, but remember if you don't have them, if you have oil pastels or if you have crayons, that's fine too. Add your texture all over. But if you don't have paint and you have washable markers, those Crayola washable markers seem to be the best, but any washable markers should work. The more washable marker lines you have, the better this is going to work when you turn that washable marker into paint. So add lots and lots and lots of washable marker lines. You can do it in one color or you can add multiple colors. If you have multiple colors, I have a couple purples I can use. So I'm going to add lots and lots and lots of washable marker lines. Once your monster is nice and hairy with whatever color you have chosen, if you had washable marker on there, you just need water. You don't need the watercolor paint. You don't even need it. So grab your water and your paintbrush and the water will wake up your marker and like magic, it will turn your marker into watercolor paint. So don't worry if you didn't have watercolor paint, you can still paint with water. And there you go. If you didn't know any better, you'd think we used watercolor paint on that one too. Let's move on to our next monster. Now for this one, I'm going to pretend that I do not have watercolor paint or water. Maybe you have a house where you can't make a mess on the table, there's other electronics, and all you can use are crayons or markers and you don't have the option of water. I want you to see that you can still make a beautiful color monster, you can still add lots of texture, and it will still come out great. Now it's time to add a background. No matter which monster you have, you can choose another color that makes you feel that way. So this is my excited, happy monster. And you know what? Just like in the story, yellow for me is kind of an excited, happy color. So I'm gonna choose yellow for my background for this one. If you have watercolor, you can absolutely use watercolor to fill in your background here. So there we go, I'm gonna finish spreading out any puddles and filling in my entire background with the yellow. Yellow is light and watery, I'm gonna let that dry off to the side. Now, like I promised, I messed up on those teeth. If you made a mistake too, you can always take a white crayon or a white pastel after it's dry. Don't do this when it's wet, you'll put a hole right in your paper. But after it's dry, you can add white right on top of those to fix any mistakes you may have. Now I showed you how to do the yellow watercolor on the last one, but since yellow is so light and watery, it's really hard to make a mistake with. If you're using a dark color, like here my worried monster, black also makes me worried, but black is a strong color. The more black I use, the darker my color will be. 
if I use more water on it, it will be lighter. So you can hear I have a pretty dark black as I spread it around. If I use more water, I will get more of a light gray. No matter what color you're using, if you're using watercolor on your background, make sure you've let your monster dry. If your monster's not dry, your monster will start leaking into your background and those colors will begin to mix. So go carefully around your monster. Try not to let it mix. You can see it's mixing on my ear a little bit. That ear wasn't completely dry. And just fill in your background with whatever color you think makes you feel that feeling. So when you're done painting, just set it aside to dry before you take your picture to upload it. Now, here's the one we did with just crayon. If you do not have any water or any paint, you can just use crayons, you can use colored pencils, you could use oil pastels or paint sticks if you have them, but you don't have to get wet and messy with this. You can do this all with dry materials. So I chose an orange as my other angry, frustrated color. I'm putting some orange in the background here, filling it all up just like I did with paint. So it's up to you. All right, I've got my orange background all filled up. I wanna show you one more. You might have picked a mixed up, confused monster like in the story. You could choose to add all those different colors just like we saw in the book. So if you chose one that has more than one color because you felt more than one color felt that way, that's totally okay. Just like before too, your background doesn't have to be all one color. I did one all yellow, I did one all black, I did one all orange, but you can create a background that makes you feel how your picture feels. Since this one's all mixed up, I'm gonna use some different colors, some different lines, and some different designs to fill up my background. So I've added some polka dots, I've added some zigzags, I'm adding some stripes. I'm just kind of making this one a little mixed up and crazy, just like my monster. So feel free to do it however you want. This is your monster and your background, and I want it to represent how you feel. So you can be as conservative or as crazy as you want. Whether you didn't have paint and you did your whole project, in crayon or marker or paint sticks. Whether you had paint and you were able to paint both of your parts, the monster and the background. Whether you used marker with water to wake up the ink and create your color. Or whether you mixed it all up and had a very confused monster. You can do it however you want. These are your monsters and your feelings. I hope you had a good time creating your color monster with me today. Remember to let it dry in between, but then also let it dry before you try to take a picture of it. These pictures can get submitted in your finished color monster assignment this week. I hope you had a great time making your color monsters with me and feeling some feelings. Bye everyone.